Shell came to Nigeria during British rule and discovered oil in the Niger Delta in 1956. Since then, Shell and other oil companies have spilled an estimated 11 million gallons of oil every year in this region alone. The equivalent of one Exxon Valdez oil tanker disaster every year for 65 years. As a result, the Niger Delta is one of the most polluted areas on the planet and has the lowest life expectancy in the world, just 41. I was invited to Nigeria by local environmental activists for the Niger Delta's first climate change conference held in port au River State. And as part of the conference, we visited the sites of two shell oil spills in Ogoni land. Here you can see we have about uh, 50 communities that is like this in Ogoni. Take a look at this. Benzene in water. The water we drink, the water we use for domestic activities. So poor. This is where we live, <laughs> where we stay, and share the domain. Last year, we recorded share made some billions of profit. Billion of profit. Can you see what is the, the gain of the community? Element people are not in federal government. Element people are not in shell. So we have no brother, we have nobody to help us. We, cannot, we don't have anything to eat. Children are suffering. Look at what is going on. And it's very bad. You can see it, you are, you are safe. This thing instead cannot happen, of, in, the of telling it cannot happen you, you in the Western world. So this thing cannot them, happen in the Western the, the, world. The, the whole and will not be attended to. We are, we, are, we are not happy. All we want is solution. Tell them that we are angry. <laughs> what is their problem? Please. Tell them we are angry. The next time we will not allow this nonsense again. Tell them we are angry. If you come with me, please. So uh, that nonsense. Yeah. This is what the Niger Delta is. We have suffered enough. We have suffered enough. We are on the Transniger pipeline in Kedere. The Transniger pipeline transports crude oil from all other fields outside of Ogoni. The site we are is a spillage site. The spill occurred in 2020. As you know, this community and other parts of Ogoni we are predominantly farmers and the fisher folk. We depend on farming for our own subsistence living. Unfortunately, oil production has removed this aspect of our own existence from us. Because we do not have any other source of drinking water, we still drink from this swamp. If you go to the, 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 the adjoining homes and see any well being dug, what comes out of it as water is oil. I can take you to several water wells that have been dug. What you find come out of it is oil. Okay. Yep. So, your name, okay. where you're talking from, what you're seeing. Okay. Mm -hmm. no. Then the impact on yes. the, the people. Yes. You understand me? Yes. Okay, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. I am Dr. James Ofiku. I've been a clinician, a medical practitioner in Ogoni land for about 10 years now, for about a decade now. This is a visit to the site of oil spillage and oil pollution in Ogoni land that is of grave public health concern and is related to the emergence of different patterns of clinical presentations that we have encountered in the hospitals. And this visit today is just to see, uh, give evidence to the fact that this is where the problems are coming from. Good day, my name is Nukwe Ruth Barikwe. I am from River State, a student in Kempoli in River State. I'm here to talk about this pollution here in River State. My dad is a fisherman, he was a fisherman. 
But because of this pollution, he no longer fishes because there are no fishes in the river. My mom also engages in farming, but right now there are no lands for cultivation of food. And there are scarcity of food because of these pollutions. So here in River State, we are struggling, we are battling, and we need solutions so that we can live well. We are exposed to different infections, different diseases because of this pollution. And we don't know what the outcome will be. We don't even have our hope. The whole Ogoni land is polluted. We need help. We need help. You can imagine, look at everywhere is polluted. But there are no longer fishes because there are no fishes. There are no fishes and there are no way of livelihood. He is struggling just to, to cater for us, the children. This is our soil. This is what we found to be our soil. When she came, they made a very fertile soil, but this is what they left with us. Too bad. Let them share to pack their loo, pack their equipment, and leave Ogoni land, leave Niger Delta below. They should leave all the way they met us. So they have to pay all compensation. They have to pay for the damage they have caused. They have to pay for loss and damage. Yeah. We must take yeah. share. Not only share, but all the oil companies that have been destroying our soil. This can no longer be our soil. What can this produce? Can a farmer produce? Can a farmer farm on this soil? No. 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 Ali? Let's go. Okay. Um. Um. So I'm here in Ogoni Land. Uh, thank you. I'm here in Ogoni Land, and this is the, the soil. This is contaminated beyond belief this is just toxic you turn the to soil into toxic waste here um, I, I'm speechless I, I yeah I like um, I'm lost for words thank you get it out oh you put you, you put it this is what we are saying oh no sorry you can't oil you, on you our go. water it's key the fishes it destroy the ecosystem this is Ogonila this is what shared due to us you see by yourself. And I believe when the whole thing accountable to pay for what they have done. Thank you. But wait. Hello.